Welcome to the Narrowboat that James built. Hope you're well, thanks for joining me. Well, I had a few days away in uh, Centre Parks in North France with the kids and the family, which was absolutely uh, brilliant. Um, we, uh, we actually went on the Euro Tunnel, which is, I've done the Euro Star before, which is the passenger one to go to Brussels or Paris and stuff. But this is the Euro Tunnel where you drive your car onto the train. And um, I think it was Arthur's best part of the holiday, but um, it was pretty cool. I've never done that before. So I'll show you guys what it looks like, because it's just, uh, yeah, for you, if you're from overseas or whatever, you may never have seen it. I mean, I'm not, and I have never seen it. So, yeah, that was pretty good. Uh, Centre Parks was amazing. Um, it was wall to wall on the go, like properly on the go for me. And, and yeah, my mum and dad did a lot as well, but five kids in centre parks for 10 days is like absolutely killer um but we're all back we're alive uh, mum's main concern is that um one or some of the children might drown uh so uh but they didn't so that's all good and uh but it's really really good to be back um i'm exhausted i mean like properly properly knackered uh matilda or ivy woke up at six o'clock every day and the eldest went to bed about midnight. So I was essentially on duty the whole time. So um, yeah, it's good to be back. Nice to have some lions and relaxing lunches and stuff like that, which I've missed. Um, and I've got, I'm like kid free now. Uh, I've put in my, I've put in my time. So I've got a weekend to myself-ish and um, it's now adult time, which is perfect, bang on. So, but I need to get the boat ready and over the whole time of building the boat, like two years or whatever it's been, I reckon the thing which you guys have mentioned more than anything else is curtains. So, and this is the time that I need to sort it because I'm right outside the pub here at the Crystal Palace. Rob moved my boat whilst I was in France. And that window there is basically right next to the front door of the pub. Um, the bedroom windows are tad exposed so yeah that's the name of the game i need to uh need to sort that out now whilst i was away in france my tailor phoned oh that's probably a bit of a glamorous way to say it the person doing my curtains phoned and said they're all ready um and now i need to do the i'm hoping the fairly straightforward task of sewing some tabs on them putting the uh the rails up and everything like that and installing the curtains but um, I haven't sewn in a while. I've got literally no stuff. So there's a showing, sewing shop in Hemel. I'm going to go and quickly pop there, get some needles and I don't know, whatever else I need and um, see if I can remember 1992 sewing lesson. Right, so I've picked up my curtains and I've got the bits I need to uh, sew the bits on. So what did I get? Oh no, some buttons, because I thought that might make it look better. Some ribbon strap type things and some sewing needles. Right, here we go. So, I've got my sewing bits and pieces. Don't measure off cuts which I thought I was going to use or need but I don't think I will now right so there should be six panels uh, oh there's one in the bedroom hang on right, I picked this up the other day so one, two, that's one window. One, two, that's two. One, two. And this is all the off cut, I'm guessing. Well, there's loads of it, blimey. There's still a whole new, another curtain in there. Right, well, that. So the idea is, and look, this is they're all uh, nicely done, they're all lined. So, and the plan is, obviously, for it to hang like that. 
and that'll be there we go it kind of well it's hard to do at the moment so the thing is i'm aware of is that my rails i think came up to about there which means when this is open it's going to be hung with tabs um so when it's open it's not really going to gather that well well that might do i don't know uh, but it can't i wanted it to slide back more so it kind of hangs like that when it's open uh, the reason for that is you quite often see certainly on narrow boats um if it's if the curtain's open it's it's kind of like gathered like that and it still eclipses quite a lot of the window and i've only got two windows in here um well one in the galley but so i wanted it to kind of sit like that at the end of it when it's when it's fully open but then that will mean having the rail out about there which might look a bit look a bit daft so i don't really know is the answer i think these are all the same so i'm, I'm just going to kind of work this out i haven't done sewing since the early 90s i uh, i'm embarrassed to say and when i was at school our matron told us how to do it so i've got some ribbon which is going to form the little tabs which will go from the curtain over the little thing like that basically and because i'm crap at sewing i've got quite a good way of doing it we'll just by using a little button so i don't have to make anything particularly neat on this front side it will just be a button and i think that might go color wise all right that side is all right and got some needles and some thread to match the ribbon so this will be quite fun as i said i haven't done it in ages so let's see how it goes can't be that hard though can it right let's get the rail back up first Right, so this is the top end of the curtain and to kind of put it on the rails what i've got are these ribbons cut i do have loads of offcut of this and i was thinking of doing it in that but then i'd have to kind of uh i don't know what the word is seal <laughs> i guess the edges uh so it doesn't all fray so i got this ribbon and then now i've cut it i'm gonna have to do the same on this ribbon as well because it's all kind of well it is going to fray and some of them are better than others look that's a bad one so I can't have that visible. So I'm gonna have to kind of work out the positioning of all of these bits and be a bit like that. Oh, you know what I mean. And then that goes underneath there. I'm not doing a very good job here. And then, because I don't know what I'm doing, I thought the easiest way of doing it, because otherwise I have to like stitch all the way around there and then I don't know what to do there, like it's sag there, and I wouldn't want to go across there. So <clears throat> I don't really know what I'm doing. So I put a button on it, and I thought, well, that should work. Um, I, and I don't really know if it will or not. It's just that it's quite a lot for it to get through. So I've got these like fat needles to see if that works or not. But anyway, that's the that's the kind of the that's the plan. So we'll see how we get on. But first off, I've got a seal all of these things now is seal the word i don't know right let's see if i remember how to sew i'm gonna try and do a decent job on this one i not get it tangled on the very first thread yes i think <clears throat> that's pretty good that is uh, definitely the example to show. Look at that. Tip top. Nice uniform stitching. So I'll trim off the edges. Just going to cut the thread. Oh, blimey. That is well close. I nearly sod and did. Put it on there and measure it. And this is the bit that I think is going to be tricky. 
Oh my gosh, it's already pretty tricky. Doesn't help being on this foam, if I'm honest. Right, two inches from the edge. I don't know why I decided to do it in inches, but I thought because it's upholstery, for some reason it seemed fitting. All right, two inches from the edge, yeah. And then, uh, what is it? One inch from the top. All right, that's like there. And then this guy matches up with my plan. And that should give me one and a half inches of hang height. Bang on. So, button. Uh, what do I need? Oh, no, a thread. I forgot without a thread. Right, you do that. That's the one advantage of doing it in foam. Oh, where's the end gone? Now this bit, um, whoa, where's it gone? There it is. Right, now this bit is just complete trial and error now. How am I going to do this? How can you see where the end is? Oh, God, it's already gone wrong. Well, somehow line it up with the holes in the button, obviously. Right, how do I know where it is? Ah, oh, got it. That was just by luck that even that was. Right, don't pull through too much. That's easy. Theoretically, oh yes. If anyone's still watching this, I'll be amazed. Ah, ah. Shit, that hurt. Right, well, this is actually not as awful as I thought. Feels very, very kind of precarious still. Oh, no, don't get right round there, Sammy Jim. Yes, look at that. Now, what I think I should do is I can't find the hole. Oh, I do loads of jokes about. Back in. Let's give that a tug. Back in. Yeah, it's getting decent that one. Oh no, that looks that looks awful. Oh. Doesn't look awful, it just looks like I made it. Which I have. Oh well. Right. That'll do. So I'll cut the excess bit of the thread off bye bye right good there's one right can i carry it yes it works just holding that so that's what she looks like side profile so i reckon that's given me enough kind of hang um now 
I need to do the other side. Well, that's the first one I've done. And on the basis that they all get better, I'm pretty happy with that. Okay, the back can be tightened, smartened up a little bit, but that's all right. The button's not on very kind of secure. It doesn't need to be secure. It just needs to kind of hold that on, which clearly it does. So uh, yeah, be hanging like that. So obviously the curtain is above the top of the window. So what? So I'm gonna put another one on now. This is gonna require three, I think. So, but I'm gonna put the other end one on just so I can hang it up and kind of make sense of it all. But I'm well chuffed with that. Well, somehow the second one was worse. Um, I bent two needles in the process of doing that. So I think I'm putting a bit too much pressure on this. Anyway, uh, first one's done. I've done them slightly differently. Uh, so that one kind of is closer to the central part of the curtain so it doesn't droop down at all. And that one's a bit further away to allow it to hang slightly better. Anyway, I'll give it a go. Right, take the end off this, feed the curtain through it. I'd be well happy if this works. I mean, it kind of should. And I'll be well happy also if all the other ones are quicker than this one, otherwise it's going to take me like a curtain a day. And I'd kind of like it to be done by the weekend. So, this is the left hand curtain I'm doing. Oh, you know what? That is actually pretty good. Obviously, that, it does need an, another one putting in the middle, just to keep that bit nice and level. But yeah, that's decent. You can see a little bit through it, but that's all right. Now I just hope that I've got it wide enough. Second one like that. Okay, I think the colour needs to change on the inside of the boat again though now. That's not good news. Right. Yeah, I'm pretty happy with that. I've got a bar to kind of go in that position there. I thought there'd be a bit more overhang I thought we'd come down a bit further it's not the end of the world but yeah I think that's a nice nice look suits the boat well right, let's crack on right second one is done put the end back on now this is the moment of truth unlike no other See if I've got the uh, widths right. And the other thing I didn't want to have kind of excess material, I didn't want to have too much on there. Sweet, and then when that bit's kind of clamped in, that'll work nicely. There's slightly different heights there, but they're handmade. Well, the bits which don't line up are handmade by me. The bits which do line up are handmade by professionals, but there we go. Sweet, who cares? 
Right, let's get the bottom bit on. Well, that's nice. Yeah, that's all right. I didn't want it kind of down too much and it kind of flares out then. Good. Happy days. Actually, I thought I might need some, like, you know, ties or whatever for this. But as long as it's folded correctly, I think I'll get away with that. Nice. Decent. Yeah. Privacy at last. Not that I get it, but you and everyone else does. Right, yeah, I think it probably needs another one in the middle. For design something or other, I think odd numbers are better than even. So three's better than two. Right, but I'm gonna crack on with those ones next. Right, I've just been looking at them for a while and thinking, hmm, what's up here? Um, they don't match up. But if I take, if I turn one of them around, they wouldn't ma none of them would match up. Um, that's just the way it's going to be. I'm going to have to make my piece with that. I quite like it. It's kind of quirky. But um, now I've noticed it, I can't notice anything else but that. The only good thing is, is that, that line there is continuous. But that's kind of it. Anyway. Move on. Yes, yeah, definitely night time. And the curtains are good. The fact, that the fact they're lined means that you can't see through them at all. There's kind of little gaps there, which are okay. I can shimmy them along a little bit. But yeah, I'm happy with that. I think it looks nice from the outside as well. Certainly with the line there, that was all kind of per chance, to be honest. But it fits it quite nicely. Happy days. These just take a bit of getting used to in terms of getting the fold right. And then they kind of pin back nicely. I don't need any tabs or anything to kind of keep me in place. I'm well chuffed with that. They're all still up, which is kind of a miracle. But it's made it really nice. It's kind of really helped frame the boat. Now it's made me think I need to decorate my hatches because they're now just looking really plain. Well, they are really plain. But um, anyway, that's for another time. But yeah, this is good. So I've gone, I've done bedroom and the two here in the lounge or dinette. Uh, I need to work out one for the galley. That's probably just gonna be one sheet which pushes back towards the uh, hot water heater. That's the next thing actually, that's on the list. So I got my, uh, I got fluffy drawers coming over in the next few days to sort out my gas install for the boiler. So I've got to cut the flue like ASAP. Um, and the way I've decided to compensate for the pitch, pitch in the roof is by just creating a hardwood wedge. So uh, that's going to be my plan for this week. But my plan for this weekend is just to like prep the boat, prep myself, prep some food. Should be great. Hope you guys are well. Take care. Bye bye.